Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to talk to you about the difference between onion sets and onion bunches. Onion bunches you can either grow yourself like uh, or, that I did right here. I started these uh, mid-January or you can buy them at stores and it's usually onions that were grown uh, in the ground. They get to about this size. They take them out, rubber band them together and they're called onion bunches. These are onion sets. Onion sets are actually you know little bulbs. They look like tiny onions and what they are are onion seeds that are planted late in the season and then they're harvested when they're small. The problem with onion sets and I've had this experience over many years and other uh, viewers have uh, commented to me and, and said the same thing that these are first year onions even though that they're small they've grown for one year and then when you plant them in the ground they go to seed very quickly um, not very quickly but most of them go to seed they form seed heads instead of forming nice size onions and that's because these are technically now second year onions. I'm not going to plant these anymore. I did a video on them earlier. I'm going to harvest them for the greens. But I don't recommend getting onion sets because they're technically second year onions and a lot of them form seed heads rather than the onions that you want to get. You can grow onions. They are indestructible. That's the second thing I want to talk about. These onions have been in here since mid-January. January 14th actually and today is April 27th. I'm going to put them into my garden. I've been putting them all over the place. This is how I grow them. It's really inexpensive. They are indestructible and I wanted to do another video just to show you how indestructible they are. These are basically making your own onion bunches. You can see how tight the roots get. You can keep these in here for a long time as long as you feed them with a half strength liquid fertilizer and keep them watered they're going to do great. Even if they dry out, they're still going to survive. They are literally indestructible. So to plant them, when they get to the size, about that size, you're just going to break them apart. And I just wanted to do that whole process here. You do not have to be gentle. As long as there are a couple of roots, but more importantly, as long as you put them in the ground and you water them, they're going to be okay. Look, these roots are very wiry, very strong. You can grow these for pennies a plant if even that. This is probably, I don't remember, but nearly a whole seed packet packed into just a tiny um, tin that I bought at the grocery store. You know there must be easily well over 50 onions here between 50 and 100 and you just break them apart. I usually take the bigger ones, these are all pretty good size and they go into the ground. If I get small ones like this I just put them to the side and I just plant these tightly together somewhere and I grow them for the greens. So you can go through this whole pack and really just pull things apart. The small ones stay here, large ones there. And I'll do half of them. I just want to show you the quantity you, and you just don't have to be general. I really recommend doing this. These will grow to full size and you'll have great onions for your garden. Once you break them apart, you're going to plant them. And the key is really based on your soil. If you have really loose sandy soil, you can plant them about that deep and they'll form onion heads. My soil is kind of clay so I like to plant them just so that this tip is in there and the bulbs will form on the top. But you want to keep these, you, you don't want to plant these too deeply and you can get away with a little bit more with a deeper planting if your soil is really sandy. So these will be used just for onion greens. And again, all these onions from a small tin in a seed packet, you know, cost me maybe two bucks at the most. And onion bunches, when you go to a, a, a nursery or someplace like Home Depot, you'll see about 50 of these rubber banded together. These are usually all dried out um, and they'll still grow. So once you have it, all I do is make a hole deep enough so that I can drop the roots in, hold it up high, and then I pinch it in so that, again, my soil is kind of clay, so I just let it sit right on top. And I'll do that about every three or four inches. You can plant them more closely together if you don't want to get full size mature onions or if you're going to weed out every other, or not weed out, but pick out every other one as they grow. Again, you can use these at any stage of development. And that's all you do 
for onions is just drop them in pretty much like this and for literally two bucks you know maybe I don't know these are like three for a dollar or something like that so for a couple of dollars I'll have this whole area filled in with uh, onions let's see if I can find the stick and these are sweet Spanish onions hope you enjoyed the video please check out my blog at www.therusticgarden.blogspot.com and if you're good at grow onions I really uh, recommend growing them as seeds inside the house make your own onion bunches don't use these sets because they really don't form large onions. They go right to seed. Thank you.